Hello and welcome to Brian's Got Game. I am Brian, and today I got the game called Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin is a two-player deduction card game by Nate Heiss and published by AEG. In this game, players have identical sets of cards and are trying to figure out the name of the card on the bottom of the other player's deck. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you when to play the right card, use its action to your advantage, and guess your opponent's name in Rumpelstiltskin. To set up, give each player a deck. They can look at the bottom, that is their name. <clears throat> they then draw five. Their decks are their personal decks that only they draw from and have all of the names and all of the cards. The player who makes the funniest face goes first. Then. One, the beginning player looks at their hand, chooses one, and plays it. Most cards have the word guess in it. That means they get to guess th their opponent's name, which is the one at the bottom, the card at the bottom, that only the players whose deck it is know. So he plays this card. Tim Tit Tot. Guess twice. So he gets to guess twice. <clears throat> Each player gets a card list, which has the cards and setup on it. So, he looks at his card list. And he gets to guess twice, any number he wants. Are you... Noggin? So, you would look at the bottom, and he would reply yes or no. In this case, no. Since he gets to guess twice, he gets to guess again. He's going to guess Grok. Are you Grok? He is not Grok. So now it is his turn. So he looks at his hand. Here's this card. He gets to guess. So he's going to play this. Luxac. Guess. And then look at the top card of his deck. If it's the guess card, he gets to play it. So he wants to guess a card that he doesn't have in his hand. That's not Tim Tit Tot. Because he already knows that's him. That's not him. So, he guesses, are you Drum Drum? So, he looks, he's not Drum Drum. So then he reveals the top, it's not Drum Drum. So he puts it back. Play continues until one of two things happen. One, when the player plays all of his cards, he's played all these cards. So, he must then draw the card and then immediately play it. He gets no choice. The other thing is that the other player guesses his name. Rumpelstilts. Are you Rumpelstiltskin? He would say yes. If he had a card with a reaction, there are two cards. One and five. This one, you may play this after they guess. So he, he can invert his deck. So he's not Rumpelstiltskin anymore. This one, you may draw your bottom card of the deck, so you may draw your name. Both of these say that you can play it after your opponent guesses, so you can dodge their uh, their name guessing. There are two ways to win this game. One, to guess the opponent's name without them playing a reaction, or if the other player runs out of cards, then they, they lose, and the player who still has one or more cards wins. If you want to play a longer game, there are five little yellow blocks. They're victory tokens. After you win a round, you get one. Since there's five, there's exactly enough to have. The player wins when they get three. So if it's two to two, the last game. But if they win with one, they win. So th this is just a form of playing a longer game. Let's take a look at some of the cards. Here's one, Bootstrap. Draw the card from the bottom of the deck. This is really good if someone guesses your name. Then you take, then they don't win. This card, Grok, you get to guess and then search your deck for the card. Then you may get it and then you get it and then you shuffle your deck again. It's a really good card for getting cards. Um, Rebel Stiltskin. The opponent shows their name. So if he played that, he knows he's Tim Tit Tot. And here's Pop Art. Your opponent can play, re your opponent 
cannot play reactions this turn, then you get to guess. So, it's really good to play Rumpelstiltskin, and then to play Pop Art. We call this the Rumpelstiltskin Pop Art combo. It pretty much will win you the game, but if someone plays Rumpelstiltskin, you might want to play a card that you get to draw or invert your deck. And that's how you play Rumpelstiltskin. Okay, I've got my dad here for a parent's opinion. So dad, what do you think of Rumpelstiltskin? I thought Rumpelstiltskin was really fun. It's kind of a puzzle uh, between two players. Um, you know, can, can I figure out who you are before you figure out who I am? Um, it, it's just a very nice, quick exercise in logic and deduction. Uh, so I, I really had fun with, with Rumpelstiltskin. The components are really nice. The um, cards have a finish. The box is very strong, very durable. It also has a really good texture. I like the texture. Yeah, it, it, this is uh, a brand new uh, product from AEG that came out this year. Uh, we played it at uh, Gen Con. Um, and, and right, it's just the cards, but the cards are really well done. And nice box, uh, that's similar to all of their small box games that have been coming out recently. Um, and then they got the little cubes, kind of like uh, like in Love Letter, you got those little wooden cubes uh, for victory points. So uh, all in all, I think the components were, were really well done. The artwork is wonderful. I love the artwork. There's different artwork on every single card. Yeah, it's kind of got a neat little, you know, uh, theme there with, um, you know, Rumpelstiltskin and, and all of the other little guys. Um, and it's kind of light and fun. <clears throat> There's... Of course, your strategy, which cards to play, which name should you guess. I mean, there's lots of different choices in this game. Yeah, well, I, I think this is a pure strategy game. Um, everybody, so the two players have identical decks of cards, mm -hmm. but you draw five of them. Uh, so there's ten total, right? So you have half. Um, you don't know what half your other guy has. Um, but then, yeah, the order in which you play those. Uh, sometimes you might have one that's a reaction to save yourself, and sometimes you don't. Uh, some of the rounds we've played were very fast. And and some of them and were just the longest. Some of were not. So, uh, yeah, it just depends. And I think that's why you definitely want to play with the Victory Point Cubes and have a longer game and go best by the three. Um, because uh, uh, probability is it's very... It's three out of five. Oh, three out of five. Okay, right. Um, but that way, at least you can recover from somebody having a really good lucky guess on your very first try. Yeah, and then also the, um, the vicious Rumpelstiltskin pop art. Combo. Yes, which I got you with the last time that we played. Yeah. Uh, so you figure out who you are, and then you guess. And they and, can't and react. You can't react to it. So if, if you happen to get those two cards in your hand, you're very likely to win, unless yep. the unless your opponent knows about it, and they get rid of and they draw their card before, right after right. the ruffle. So you have to invert or change your guy somehow. It's pretty easy for kids. Of course, it's for the older ones because of the strategy. Yeah, and the reading. There's reading involved in this one. Yeah. Um, and, and because of the strategy, right, and the, and the logic, I, I, don't, I don't think I would play with this one with kids that are younger than 10. Um, and so, you know, for that reason, I, I wouldn't say that it's a family game, um, but, but it is something you could play with your teenagers uh, or, you know, 10, 10 and older. Overall, the Rumpelstiltskin is a wonderful game. We really like it. Yeah, I, it, it it really reminded me of Love Letter. Uh, we we have played Love Letter in the past, and we really like it. But it, it's it's one of those games that doesn't play well with two. Uh, and this just felt like uh, the AEG sat back and said, "Okay, we did really well with Love Letter. How could we make a two-player game that's like Love Letter? Because this is basically what it is. Um, it's guessing back and forth, uh, trying to figure out who that guy is." Um, but it plays better with two players. It's, well, it's only because it is. It's only two players. But it plays so, better with two players than Love Letter. Right. So if you do, if you're a fan of Love Letter, I would definitely check this one out. Especially if uh, if you're into two player games, we tend to play a lot of two player games. Uh, so this one, I think, is going to earn its way onto our shelf, and it's going to stay there for a long time. Thanks for watching Brian Scott Game. Like us on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet at Brian Scott Game. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian. This is my dad. See you next time.